And there's this raging debate about should we panic with inflation at this level right now. Clarida, the former vice chairman, Richard Clarida, Michael Ferroli, has suggested we're going to bring up the 2% level. What do you and Bruce Kasman and your team say? What is an appropriate blended, banded target rate for the new Fed, the next Fed? So, yeah, so if we're talking about real GDP growth uh, and we're talking about potential real GDP growth, you know, normally we think of that as something that's going to, you know, obtain over on average the next five years or something like that, right? Uh, I think in this particular situation, uh, it's hard to get around the issue of immigration and how that's affecting trend growth. So just to, you know, level set here, over the past 12 months, we've averaged uh, payrolls around 250,000 per month. Uh, job growth, 250,000 per month. Uh, and in that period, the unemployment rate has trended up on sort of averaging out about three tenths of a percentage point, which would tell you, all else equal, that steady state job growth could be above 200,000, right? And if that's the case, then I do think uh, potential GDP, if you want to put it that way, over the past year has probably been above 2%. Yeah. Um, you know, certainly we've had growth above, well above two percent over the past year. Uh, again, alongside um, no evidence of tightening uh, in labor markets, no evidence of that uh, tightening in, in inflation data or wage data. Um, so I do think currently, uh, just, you know, the full employment growth of the economy is is above two percent. Now, I started off by saying normally we think about you know potential GDP growth as something that's going to obtain over long stretches of time. And I think in this situation, it's a little more tricky to say because, yep. you know, the prospects for immigration into next year, I think, are going to depend on, you know, policy choices that are made regarding immigration policy, right. uh, which could, you know, dramatically affect whether that 250K number I mentioned earlier is going to be something that, you know, uh, rolls on into 25 and beyond. Right? Michael, how concerned are you about inflation? Because I think there is a debate out there in the marketplace whether what we've seen over the last three months is something we need to worry about or not. How, how do you think about it? Um, you know, I still think we're on a disinflationary path. Um, I mean, one for one reason, I guess if we, we can either come at it from a bottom up or top down, I think from the bottom up, you know, Chair Powell a few times yesterday laid out the case for why uh, rental inflation is going to come off. Uh, and if rental inflation normalizes, then I think you that gets you, you know, a good chunk of the way back to uh, to a more you know, uh, acceptable inflation rate. And I think you could see that in things like, you know, in Europe, they use this HICP, which is basically CPI minus OER. Uh, the BLS here in the U.S. produces one of those, and right now that HICP is a little over two percent. Okay. Core HICP is a little below two percent. So, you know, basically from the top, from the bottom up, if that uh, you know if those rental measures come down, that gets you a long way there. And from the top down, um, you know, I don't really see uh, in a big way inflation pressures uh, picking up uh, in the first quarter.